what's going on, y'all? So, Benzino, a lot of people's familiar with him from loving hip hop and you know his uh his stance in the in the whole entertainment industry. Um, I only know him from loving hip hop, but apparently he started the source.com or something like that. Anyways, guys, look at this. He's coming at Wendy Williams. Now he had friction between his daughter, uh, Koi Larray. Uh, she's an absolutely great artist. Um, she's 23 years old and uh, there was some kind of beef with him and her and he had ended up going online and he started, you know, running his mouth. I have all those clips. I play all those at the end. But look at here. So Wendy Williams added her two cents on the whole situation, and um, he got he got a wimp, a wimps of of uh, what Wendy Williams has said. Uh, to me, Wendy Williams didn't really say anything wrong at all. Just basically told him that he shouldn't have went online and vented. Instead, he should have drove his car over to his daughter and talked to her. This bitch. Benzino wants to come online and start with me, bro. Instead of being a father and just supporting from that side, you still want to be bitter. Deserve what she put on that song. Her go that's the like, I've never heard a daughter go at a father for what? I ain't did Ron McCoy. I don't know who the is. I know her mother's in the air, but other than that. I don't know who's in the air. And if you're going to put some about me in the song, put some about your mother, too. Say some about, you know, that she does, too. Huh? So in this comment, you guys probably already read it, but it says this is coming. He's responding to Wendy. This is coming from a crackhead alcoholic. This shit is disgusting at Wendy. You know, you know, you would think that a 57 year old mother would understand how bad it is that a 23 year old little girl who would never ever say this shit to my face, who is very confused and disrespectful and to watch grown adults use this to instigate is unbelievable. Wendy, how could you fix your face to speak on people when your husband blatantly used your bad body band faced ugly ass to fund his new younger wife and relationship? Your show's ratings are the worst it's been since you started. You sit in a chair and gossip. That's your gift? You would think your karma was enough for you to be nice. But, okay, you want to shit on me? Fine, you got that. Trust me, more karma, karma will come your way. So, in the comments here, this last one, um, this person here says she said nothing wrong, though. She really didn't. I mean, in my opinion... Again, I'll play the clip of what I have of Benzino saying what he said live, as well as his daughter's response to him, okay? And then he went on live again after that. Just just a mess. And actually, when he went on live talking shit on her, he was on a, um, he was doing a live stream where he had invited somebody. I think their name was like Queen Flips or something like that. Anyways, this person says she said nothing wrong, though. Uh, Benzino replies to him and says she said everything wrong and it's sad to see all grown women agreeing with her we are living in bad times y'all really think this woman said what, what this woman said was okay yeah this is why the young people are fucked up today no Benzino the reason why young people are fucked up today is because of adults like you parents like you who feel like instead of having a one-on-one -on -one adult conversation with your child you want to come on social media and make it everybody's business about how you feel. This is your child. Pick up the phone. Call her. Like, fuck out of here. First and foremost, his daughter is popping right now. Her music is popping. Um, a lot. I, I knew Koi LeRae by her music. I listened to a lot of the updated songs um, through Google Music. And one of her songs had suggested to me. And I'm like, damn, this shit is popping. That's the only way I know her. Then I started following her on Instagram. I just recently started following Benzino. Um, I think because I followed her, they had sent the suggestion for me to follow him. So I seen them and I'm like, oh, that's the bull from Love and Hip Hop. Clicked it and I've been following him. Little did I know they was going to have a um, back and forth right, af right after. And I was going to find out that he was actually Koi LaRae's father. Like, you know, she a pretty little girl. He's a nice looking dude. Um, I could see where she do resemble him. Um, but it's just, you know... Dude, get the fuck up off the internet. Like, why you gotta get up and why you gotta do that to her? Why you gotta disrespect your daughter? Now, all y'all's, all y'all's business is all over media because you took it to social media. She didn't. 
she's promoting her business and her and her music and it's popping right now. She popping and little girl, she could dance. She could dance her fucking ass off. Anyways, guys, leave it in the comments. Uh, like the video, share the video. Um, you know, let me know how you feel about this. Honestly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next video.